Hello students, today in your algebra class we're going to be multiplying binomials or using what's called the FOIL method. So, at the end of this lesson you should be able to simplify equations using the FOIL method. Now to break down the FOIL method a little bit more, it stands for first, outer, inner, last. So what happens is when we multiply binomials, remember binomials are two monomials put together, when we're multiplying binomials and we use FOIL, we have to multiply the first items, the outer items, the inner items, and the last. So to break this down a little bit more, we're going to use some of our colors. So if we look at this first binomial, x plus 2, the first item is x, and the first item in the second binomial is also x. So when we do first, we multiply these two items, Then we do inner, or I'm sorry, we do outer. Outer are the two outer items. So if you look at the binomials as a whole, the two outer items are the ones on the outsides. So x, and then 3, so that's our outer. Then we have our inner, which are our two inner terms which are x, or 2 and x are our inner. And then we have last. Last are two last terms that we haven't connected yet. So that's last. So if you look at it, if you start with one set of binomials and you distribute it to every piece on the other binomial, like we did here, the blue lines that can start at our x, go to the other x and the 3, and then our inner and last start from the 2, go to the inner x and to the last 3. So when we do these, we're multiplying. So it's x times x, which is x squared. So we have x squared plus the outer is 3 or x times 3 or 3x. Our inner is 2 times x, which is 2x, and our last is 2 times 3, which is 6. From here, we can simplify and say we have x squared plus 5x plus 6. And that is our FOIL method. So let's try a couple more together. Example 2. We're going to do first outer, inner, and last. So we have 2x times times x plus 2x times 4 plus 3 times x plus 3 times 4. So again, that gives us 2x squared plus 8x plus 3x plus 12. And lastly, that's 2x squared plus 11x plus 12. So that's how we do it for example 1. Example 2 is the same exact thing. Just keep in mind we have a minus, minus 4 here, or a negative sign. So we'll do first, outer, inner, and last. So that gives us x times x plus x times negative 4 plus 3 times x plus 3 times negative 4, which simplifies to x squared plus negative negative 4x plus 3x plus negative 12, which gives us x squared minus x minus 12. And number three, or example three, would be the spiciest one out of the group. And the reason being is because we're multiplying a binomial to a trinomial. So 
when we do this, it's the same kind of idea, and hopefully you're noticing it by now. The first binomial gets distributed to each piece in the other polynomial. So 3x should go to x squared, it should go to 2x, it should go to 5, and negative 2 gets distributed to x squared, 2x, and 5. So we get 3x times x squared plus 3x times 2x plus 3x times 5. So that's the first set of grouping. Plus negative 2 times x squared plus negative 2 times 2x plus negative 2 times 5. Again, simplifying, we get 3x to the third power plus 6x squared plus 15x minus 2x squared minus 4x minus 10. Lastly, just to bring it all together, we have 3x cubed we have plus 4x squared plus 11x minus 10. So this is our simplified answer in standard form. Now it's your turn. Try problems 1, 2, and 3. When you're done, write these write your answers to these questions on your notes and we'll take a look at them tomorrow. That's all for now. See you guys next time.